Five years. A dancing fire. What a happy tracker driver. Join fencing, guys. A three foot tall child works pretty well for measuring how close you are to a four foot deep hole. What's me on that side? Yep. Good job. What's me on this side? Yep, put it in nice and even. You're doing a good job. So we're in the process of rebuilding our um, winter and spring calving corral. So we already have our corner post reset. There's a nice good old fashioned solid red cedar telephone pole that was going to last my lifetime. And for the rest of the H brace that we're going to build here for this corner, we got these nice six inch clay foot pressure treated posts. We are going to use an old school fence post pounder mounted on the back of the tractor to put the posts in for the H braces, but you could of course dig these holes by hand as well and it would be even easier than the corner posts because they're smaller. It has two different jacks here for leveling things up. We have a side to side, and we have a front to back crank, and there's a nice little bubble level for set things to do uh, true. So I'm just gonna take a moment, go the right way. see that bubble and a target ring right there and there we go we are pretty well sighted in cannot tell when a fence post is lined up very well, so I went and held it while he compared. Just making sure that the surface that will have the wire and the staples on it are lined up with each other. Making sure that the H brace post will fit correctly between the two. All of you raging, we're foot too far lower. Oh no! We'll just trim the cross piece a little bit. 
get pounded. uprights pounded in and we're gonna get ready to put the H-brace assembly together next. So the rule of thumb has been you want your H-brace box set twice as wide as the post sticking on the ground. So we're roughly shooting for four foot posts so we're using an eight foot post in between as our diagonal or our horizontal piece for the H-brace. So you can buy fancy galvanized pins to put your H brace assemblies with, or if you're uh, a little cheapo like me, I have some good old half inch rebar left over from a couple Smith projects. So we are cutting them a foot long, six inches into the corner post, six inches into the H brace, and then the one for the side, the wire is going to go around. I'm going to kind of make it a couple inches long, so I'm going to make it like 14 inches, so I have an inch or two sticking out for the wire to go over. So that's what I'm going to make next. So Warren has measured between the two posts and it's seven foot two inches. So he's given himself a tiny bit extra and he's gonna whack off the bad end of the post. Counterbore the post and get it on there.
<laughs> you almost tipped over backwards. <laughs> Oh, it hurts. Oh, my chest. Oh, fine. Just getting together, ready to put the tensioning wires to the H brace together, and <laughs> the couple funky ways of doing it. The biggest thing is, is I've seen a couple different methods. <laughs> this is one of the weirdest looking ones. I'm just going to try first. So the point is, is the two hanging staples take the load of the wire as it wraps around the post, so they don't bite into the post, and it gives it some support. And you have a hanging staple and an overhanging staple to hold the wire in place. Just trying it and seeing how it works. So we'll see if we like it. On the other end, I'm not gonna get this fancy. I'm just gonna go over that piece of rebar that we used to pin the post together. And that's where he's gonna drag that into the wire up and around. And for right now, you don't have to actually go over that rebar. You can just wrap around the post and come back.
You guys want to do your success fence post finish dance? That's what I thought. <laughs>